Assalamu alaikum students. Hope for best of your health and iman. Today's topic is influences. You know in the last episode we have learned about influences which is uh, you know simple influences or seam and cymos or uh, racemos or cymos influences. Today we're going to learn compound influences. First of all we have the compound influences. What is compound influences you have to read is the definition of compound influences. In compound influences the main axis is branched and bears the flowers in the same manner as in the main axis. So compound influences mein kya hoga ki jo main axis hai uski branching hogi lekin kis manner mein hogi usi manner mein hogi branching jis manner mein main axis ki branching hui hai. ठीक है तो जो मेन एक्सिस है उसकी ब्रांचिंग होगी और उस मैनर में होगी जो मेन मेन एक्सिस की ब्रांचिंग हुई है फिर उसके बाद जो उसके ऊपर फ्लावर्स प्रेजेंट है वो उसी मैनर में अरेंज होंगे उसी मैनर में उनकी जो है प्रोडक्शन होगी जिस मैनर में मेन ब्रांच के ऊपर फ्लावर्स की प्रोडक्शन हुई है ठीक है फर्स्ट टाइप ऑफ द कंपाउंड इन्फ्लुएंसेस वी हैव इज द कंपाउंड रेस मोस इन्फ्लुएंसेस as the name shows that compound racemos influences is a complex of racemos influences or the raceme so let's have a look on definition a compound raceme consisting of racemes arranged in racemos manner for example ogevia or uh, delphinum agestis okay so uh, racemos compound racemos if compound racemos uh, you see the compound racemos in the figure that it has the racemos which is uh, you know the main axis is branched in, uh, into different you know branches and every branch have the same pattern as the uh, main branch have the main branch have racemes many racemes we have learned about raceme that raceme is that manner in which the branch grows until the last flower is formed so the main branch have the uh, flower at the top or the tip of the axis next other branches also have the flowers at their tips so it is the same manner in which the main branch has the flowering the uh, the other branches you know how sub branches also have the racemes or the race boss manner next we have is the compound corin compound corin in the in this case the main axis is branched and bear a number of corimbos so you see in the figure that it have a number of corimbos main axis is branched see, uh, uh, you can see in the sim, uh, figure that a simple corim uh, is that type in which you know main bra uh, main branch have other branches and uh, the older flowers have long uh, uh, stalk long pedicle and the uh, younger branches have the small stalks and they all come at the same level so this is a simple corim when you see the other side which is a compound corim you will notice that there you have the branches uh, from the same point you know ex, uh, starting from the uh, you know branches main branch they are arise from they arise from the main branch and have the corim boss pattern in all the branches you see that older flowers have the long branches younger flowers have the uh, small branches and they all come together at the same level. so this is the compound corim it is a present in uh, 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 coliflor which is a family member of the cruciferi next we have is the compound umbel in compound umbel the main branch has a number of umbels arranged in umbellate manner and the tip of the main axis so you see in the umbel form you know that it is that type of the branching in which you see the flowers are arranged all the stalks are coming out from the same point of the branch okay so this is a simple umbel and all the flowers come at the same level when you see in the figure in the compound umbel which is a uh, Uh, you can uh, notice that in the compound umbel all of uh, the branches are umbel uh, they arise in the umbel manner and every branch also in turn have the umbel form so you will see the main branch have the umbel arrangement and all the sub branches also have the umbel arrangement so in this way this is the umbellate manner which is a compound umbel and this is the characteristic feature of the umbelliferi we have learned about the onion which is the uh, example of a simple umbel next we have is the compound spike the main axis bears a number of sessile lateral spikes called the spikelets comprising one to few flowers and enclosed in specialized bracts example triticum astium you know is wheat so you see that the main branch have the lateral branches which is also the spike uh, branches so this is also known as spikelets so you can see in the figure that it is it is a spikelet uh, so you can see a spike of the uh, spike of the wheat and it has more small spikelets so 
so they have the same manner that the main branch have many spikelets arranged in the you know lateral spikelets and they are enclosed in bracts so this is the uh, you know uh, compound spike so these are all the types of the compound uh, inflorescences uh, the one uh, type which is left is the specialized inflorescences we're going to discuss in the next episode till then so much for watching make sure to subscribe like comment and share bye bye allah hafiz